Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be replacing an HP laptop battery. This model here is HP Pavilion 15Z AW000. As you hopefully can see it on the um, on the video, is that the battery here internally is swell, so it's swollen and is bulging and it is pushing onto the keyboard and also the back plate of the laptop I'm not sure if the camera is gonna catch where this area you can see the battery is swell and it's to a point that it's so swollen and it's pushing all the keys here on the left side of my keyboard so let's go ahead and replace the battery and I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step on how to do so. You need a Phillips screwdriver. And just so you know, the battery that is not functioning properly, uh, you just have to be very careful when you handle the battery that is, that is in a bad condition because the battery can catch fire or you would also explode so just be very careful make sure you have your safety um, goggle safety precautions before you perform the job Okay, let's go ahead and see if there's any hidden screw underneath this rubber. So there's one here. Let's try at the bottom. looks like the bottom doesn't have hidden screw on it so let's put the rubber back on okay so turn around your laptop the next step what we're trying to do is to open up the case here Take your time slowly and try not to stick all the way in. You do not want to have the pry tool that damage the internal part of the laptop. So just work your way around it slowly. Oh, I forgot to check one thing. I'm not sure if that CD-ROM has any hidden screw on this side. So, okay, so there's nothing. Usually, uh, on most laptops where you remove the optical drive there would be three hidden screws that mount the screw onto it so for this case we do not have them okay as you can see the battery is here it's already swollen and it's really hard so it's very dangerous it will catch fire and so be very careful when you dispose them best is to bring it to um, 
the battery shop and ask them to dispose it for you. So there are three screws that holds onto the battery. And go ahead and disconnect the cable. And here's your battery. So it's very plumpy, it's hard. And that's how you're gonna replace the battery. All right, so since um, the laptop is open up. I'll go ahead and walk you through some of the process if you are interested. If you want to go ahead and increase the RAM, you can go ahead and add additional RAM here. This is a DDR4 RAM. Okay, if you turn it around, if you take a closer look, it says PC4. So PC4 stands for DDR4 RAM, and this is an eight gig gigabytes. You can have two of this, eight and eight, and that would be 16 gigs total. Here's a regular hard drive. This is the hard drive that spins. If you want a performance hard drive, you can go ahead and replace with a solid state drive, the SSD drive, and once you replace it, you would have to reinstall your Windows. Windows 10. All right, and this is your motherboard. And this is the heat sink with the CPU fan on it. So if you want to replace the CPU fan, there are three screws. You can remove the three screws and the CPU will just come right out. It looks like the heat sink and the CPU fan are not attached together. So it can be very easily to replace the CPU fan if you have if you have a bad fan on your laptop. Okay, I'll show it to you. And go ahead and pull the cable. Okay, that's how you can replace the CPU fan. Let me go ahead and clean the dust here. Uh, for those of you who, I'm not sure what else would you want to replace, or maybe the LCD screen. Um, as you can see the cable here on the top right corner that goes along, okay, that comes out here. This would be your um, LCD 40 pin connector. When you remove this, remove the hinges on both sides, okay, left and right. I believe you can just replace the entire um, LCD screen with the top case on it. And this is your motherboard, obviously. All right, so um, if you have any question, comment below. Um, I will have the battery in the description below as well, where you can buy the battery from. Um, I know a lot of places where the battery would not be able to ship because um, they go by plane and some of the lithium ion battery um, have a restriction to fly. So I'll try my best to find vendor that able to ship it um, all around United States and I'll have the description um, I'm, I'll have the link in the description below. Um, if you like the video, please comment, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you for watching. Until next time, take care.